When I was about six years old, I was pretty good at drawing straight lines with my Etch-a-Sketch. That is until little Philip Doobie from across the street dropped it on our front porch and broke it. If you're about my age or younger, there's a good chance you had an Etch-a-Sketch. The Ohio Art Company introduced them in July of 1960 and sold over 600,000 by the end of that year and over 100 million since. Fast forward 15 years or so from the time my Etch-a-Sketch got broken. I'm in my early 20s. I was at the beach with a couple friends and we were walking back to the truck when a car pulled up and the guy in the passenger seat says, are you John Turner? Yes, I replied. I'm Philip Doobie, remember me? Now, what's about the stupidest thing I could have said? Yeah, you guessed it. I remember you, you broke my Etch-a-Sketch. Yeah, I said it, I'm a jerk. In my defense, I thought I was being funny. Philip apparently didn't think so, he just left. In 1 Corinthians 13, 15, we're told that love keeps no record of wrongs. This is certainly an important concept for married couples, but since Christ commands us in John 15 to love each other as he loved us, I think it's equally important in our relationships with our neighbors, our friends, even those we meet going about our everyday lives that we learn not just to forgive, but keep no record. In other words, we don't bring it up again. We forgive and forget. As Christians, we're to spread the good news of Christ to the world. It's a whole lot easier to witness to people when we have a good relationship with them. We certainly don't need to go messing it up over something trivial like an etch sketch I made it more difficult to witness to Philip Doobie over a toy. My hope now is that Philip will keep no record or wrong. I see his attorney now. I'm still pretty good at drawing straight lines, see? 